Ba yaraba sekita rebeso. O rebe shataraba yaraba. Rebe soto robo ye rebe sa ya rebe. Ha rebe sa ta yaraba soto robo she. Ye rebe so koto robo sa taraba. Father, we thank you, God. We thank you, God, because your name is great. We thank you, Lord, because your name is great. We thank you, God, because you are worthy, 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 worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. The Lamb of God slain before the foundations of the world. Father God, we thank you that right now, Father God, if you brought us here tonight, united in one accord, Father God, just like we uh, go about our jobs and we, we go about our daily existence, Father God, in unity with whatever the task is, unity with what the journey is father god how can two travel lord unless they travel united father god in one direction in one accord in one faith and what baptism father god under one god and father we are grateful tonight that no weapon formed against us shall prosper we are grateful tonight father god that you have lavished us with your armor lord we are grateful father god that you have sharpened our hands and made them instruments of destruction against the kingdom of darkness father we are grateful that even right now god even right now now, God, as the angels of the Lord hearken unto the voice of your word, as they are getting ready, have been ready, and are ready, and has been destroyed, the kingdom of darkness, Father God, every plan, plot, scheme, every embargo, Father God, every obstacle, every hurdle. Father God, we have people here tonight in one accord, Father God, so that they can see their loved ones be free, so that they can be free themselves, Father God, so they can not walk any longer in a place of stagnation, backwardness, anti-progress, retrogression, Father God, but that the word has become alive to them. They have seen others delivered, Father God. Some are walking in new levels of freedom. Some are uh, endeavoring to walk in new freedom, Father God, in various areas of their lives. And we come in unity tonight, God. By your spirit under one accord, not a Honda accord, but one accord, Father God. And we are grateful that even right now, that every demon that has uh, garnered the strength and the audacity to come against the people of God. But see, we got, we gonna give them double for their trouble tonight because we're not ignorant of their devices. And Father God, as we open our mouth and we release prophetic utterances tonight and declare change of atmosphere, God, change of stratosphere, God, change of strategies God as we walk in unity Lord and we stand on your word regarding our families regarding things that you've spoken in our lives regarding prophetic utterances Father God that we snatch Father God we decree tonight that no spoken word curse from anybody in authority over our lives Father God even things that we've spoken over our lives in ignorance Father God we repent because today we choose life we choose life, Father God, and not death. And we shall not eat the fruits of death, but we shall surely eat the fruits of life. I hear you, God. Father God, we dismantle the works of the enemy regarding witchcraft. Every witchcraft tool, every hex vex, every accoutrement, Father God, every enchantment, charm, every spoken word curse, every black cup pot, every chalice, every covenant operation. Father God, we release the angels of the Lord to dismantle these covens that are looking, Father God, for a target, releasing curses, Lord, hoping that they would land. But Father God, we declare that the spirits that they're releasing against us, we blood block them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for your shield of protection. We thank you for your helmet of salvation. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we can thwart the attacks of the enemy. Every evil dart every arrow God every ambushment father God as they look for us to rest and attack us at our most vulnerable point but Lord I thank you that you've given the angels charge we thank you Lord that we walk in repentance we thank you Lord that they can find nothing to accuse us of we thank you Lord that we have nothing to belong to the enemy we thank you Lord that tonight we're dismantling altars we come against every altar, the sun, the moon, the stars, in the planets, in the oceans, in the skies, even the ones in our bodies. Lord, the portals in the heavens where they release their altars against us, we drive them up. Lord, we bind them into the dry barren place. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we declare. We declare that no weapon formed against us tonight shall prosper. And Lord, as we come in unity in prayer, as we decide, Father God, to take a stand, as we decide to open our mouth and spoil, Father God, their works against us. Lord, as we release 
Father God, the Spirit of God that is in us, as you have poured yourself into us, as we pour ourselves out, Father God, and we release what you poured into us against the kingdom of darkness, against their tools, against their works, against their desires. We declare in the mighty name of Jesus that their desires shall fail towards us. Father God, wherever they are opening their mouth, even right now, speaking curses, wherever, Lord, they're, uh, they're navigating their monitoring device, we shut down their frequencies, we destroy their mirrors, we destroy their devices in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we declare absolute utter failure against the kingdom of darkness, against his plans, his plots, his schemes. Lord, everything surreptitiously, using individuals to monitor, sending witches outside of our house to pray. But Father God, we have already declared that there's a line of demarcation that we stand that they will not cross. They can't come a thousand yards. They can't even think about us. They can't re release any arrows against us, any darts, Lord. No voodoo dolls, Father God. No tools of destructions against us no calamitous events no cycles father God we declare that our star shall not be hunted we declare that our destiny shall not be stolen we declare that what God has declared for us it shall be as I speak it tonight it can be no otherwise God for I am your servant God a prophet of the most high God and I declare declarations over the lives and the hearts of the people the things that they prayed for they have forgotten that they shall surely come to pass. Lord, when it seems like their backs are against the wall, Lord, you're making another way where there was no way. Lord, and you're opening opportunities. Lord, you're preparing new ways, Father God, where there wasn't even a door. Father God, opportunities that they don't qualify for. Opportunities that they have not even been considered for because you are G like that. You've been doing big things before creation and you continue to do big things, Lord, because you are unmatched. There is none like unto you. Father, we're grateful that you have no rivals. Even as the angels tonight cry, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come and shall be forevermore. Lord, we're grateful that salvation, riches, and glory belong to our God. We're grateful, Father God, that when no one considered us, Father God, you had us on your mind. When the whole world gave up against us, Lord, you had us on your mind. When they say that we didn't qualify, we didn't have the right pedigree, God, you had us on your mind. Father God, I'm grateful that we are in the season of miracles. I'm grateful, God, that we are in the season of miracles. I'm grateful, Father God, that we can wake up every morning expecting with the spirit of expectancy, waiting for the miracles to come forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are grateful, Father God, that you're not a, a fly-by-night God. You're not a sometime God. Lord, we are grateful, Father God, that your eyes go to and fro over the earth and you watch to perfect your will regarding our lives according to one, Psalm 138. God, you declare clear and I declare it over your people that every one of our concerns God you shall perfect it to God that you would be glorified in all of our situations our circumstances Father God we're in some situations that seem like there is no solution that ends beneficial to us but you are just like the children of Israel walking up to the Red Sea looking at Moses like he done lost his cotton picking mind they have the mountains to the east the mountains to the west the Egyptian army behind them and the Red Sea and you told Moses just raise your staff and stand aside and see your salvation. Lord, we are standing aside right now and seeing our salvation, Lord, that you are doing things that have not been done in our lifetime. It has not been done to anybody that we know or any family member, but you're such a G like that, God, that even it has never been done on the face of the earth, you're doing it tonight. You're doing it for us. You're calling back things from the past, Lord, opportunities that we squandered. Lord, you're bringing us into a place of Kairos. Uh, we're having a Kairos revival, God, that you're bringing things back that people thought that there was a nail in it. They put a nail in it just like they put nails in coffins. But Father God, you are the death, burial, and resurrection. And there is none like unto you. And Father God, tonight we're grateful that you're saving our loved ones. You're saving Pookie, Ray, Ray, and Quetta. Lord, you're saving people that people think are irredeemable. Lord, you're bringing us back just like they thought 
that I got saved because I went to prison. But Father God, you had a plan for my life that I could be here tonight and intercede for your people. That I can be here tonight and speak into the lives of your people. They said, oh, everybody, when they go to prison, they find religion. I didn't find religion. I found Jesus. I found Jesus. Not just a te not just a, a theoretical Jesus. Not just to debate the five, the five percenters and the, the Muslims, but the real Jesus that lives in my heart and I speak in his stead for the people of God regarding their lives and regarding their situations. Lord, I don't care what we've been through. If it is that somebody can be saved tonight, if somebody would believe in you tonight, it was worth it. Father God, the struggles, the hardships, the lack of sleep. Father, we say it was worth it. And because it was worth it, because you are faithful, because you have watched, Lord, because we've been through so much, that makes the miracle so much more awesome. Father, we thank you tonight. Father, those that are listening now and those that will listen in the future, those that will hear this live in the future, Father God, let them be encouraged in you. Lord, let the anointing be on these videos, these streams, these lives, that Father God, even as people fall asleep and they're listening to it, they're still working. Even when we can't see, you are working. Even when we have no idea because it looks so bad, it feels so bad, you are working. Father God, dispatch the angels of the Lord and go to every abode, every house, every job, every situation. Remember those in the prison cells, Father God, those in the homeless shelters. Father God, we're asking that you will visit them by your spirit, that you will send your angels, God, to make a change in their lives. Father God, I come against every spirit under the sound of your voice. We come against life and poverty. We destroy your, your command and control. We destroy the seeds that you've planted. We pull your roots up in the mighty name of Jesus. We destroy these curses and covenants on our bloodline. And we declare in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not be reinstated. And any demon, any person that looks to reinstate these things, that they will suffer. Cursed be them to try to reinstate. Father God, we destroy every altar that is erecting against us, the charging altars, every altar that is speaking, anywhere rituals have been done and speaking against us. Father God, let the blood of Jesus usurp the authority of any blood speaking against us, any altar speaking against us, the sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, the wind, the rain, anything speaking against us, Father God, that has the ability to speak. We come against it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We destroy, Father God, and we you turn them. Lord, let destruction be their portion in the mighty name of Jesus. We destroy altars, Lord. We declare, suffer not a witch to live. Our desire is that they repent. But Father God, if they choose not to, let them receive a harvest for their wickedness. Let them eat the fruits of their labor in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spoken word curse where they're looking to destroy ministries, looking to destroy people's finance, shut down people's finance because they want to be a blessing, because they want documentaries and films to go out, Father God, that talk about you, that teach about you, that teach about deliverance, Father God. Let them and their works be a curse. Yes, I said it in the mighty name of Jesus. I ain't one of them scared preachers that is, are able to, del to deliver righteously what God you have called us to speak against that everything that they try will fail. We curse their works. We curse their tools. We curse their words and we declare that they will fall to the ground and become nothing in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, every person that is here tonight that is waiting on a miracle. I declare the miracle has come. I declare that we walk in the fullness of the supernatural of God and that nothing would be lacking, nothing would be missing as you continue to walk us through these situations so we can glorify your name, God. As you continue to walk us through what you've been doing secretly, Lord, as it will be exposed openly, that we will give you all the glory, all the honor, and not forget to call your name. Father God, thank you for situations that require supernatural intervention so we can know the goodness and the bigness of our God in the mighty name of Jesus. We stand united on your word and we will not stand on anything else in Jesus' name. Father God, I come against all 
spirits of infirmity. I come against sickness, disease, conditions, maladies, and torments. We release the fire of God in the organs. We release the fire of God on a cellular and molecular level. We release the fire of God against the altars that are set up to cause us to be sick. We destroy and we crush these altars right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And we judge them with the throne of judgment. Father God, we dry up their fountains. We destroy their habitations. We will not be no demon apartment building. They cannot rest in us, Father God. If they don't have the legal right to be there, they must go. And Father God, show us where they possess the legal right in our lives as we walk through this journey of deliverance. As you are delivering us, you have delivered us, and we will be delivered, Father God, as we walk with you to be a living, breathing testimony of your grace and your mercy that is brand new every morning, God. And no lack shall be our portion, God. King David said, I've been young. Now I'm old and I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging for bread. Father God, Jesus came. The Bible says that he became sin for us, that we would be the righteousness of God in him because anything else is filthy rags. Lord, I speak into the lives of the prophetic and the prophets tonight. Father God, that you're calling them to come higher. You're calling them to go lower so they can come higher. Lord, you're calling them to strip themselves of the accoutrements of the world and the marine kingdom. That we can stand united, Father God, for your kingdom. And no more God, no more God, Jezebel will speak through us. No more will the spirit of divination operate through us. But we will speak in the stead of the true and living God to change lives, change situation, speak over nations speak over cities and towns destroy the plans and the schemes of the enemy speak against our covens and witchcraft spells and hexes and destroy the works of the dark kingdom in the mighty name of jesus father god i pray for the women who are suffering with alopecia who are suffering with issues with their hair Lord, where they are driven to a place where they go to the marine kingdom for answers. But Father God, we declare that the marine kingdom does not have an answer because our God is a healer. They, doesn't have, they don't have an answer, Father God, for what they placed on us. We reject all of their overtures. Father God, I speak to the scalp. I speak to the follicles. I speak to the root of the hair. And Father God, I command supernatural return of the glory of the women of God. Father God, whatever they desire, whatever length and texture they desire. I take that back, not the texture, the length. Father God, because we are grateful with what you have given us. We are grateful with how you have made us. We are grateful, God, that you didn't choose to make us to look like a dog or a rat. You choose to make us look just like you. And Father, we are grateful. Father God, remember the children. Remember the children who are being, being bombarded, Father God, with these images of wickedness, all kind of witchcraft in everything we watch. TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat. I don't even know all of them. But Father God, that our children will be uh, uh, protected. Lord, that you will put a shield between them. You will blood block, Father God, the works of the enemy looking to infiltrate and mess with their self-esteem and have them feel that they're not beautiful and have them act out, have them to be afraid, have them to be uh, in situations where they can't sleep because they're under the influence of night terrors. But Father God, we speak into the darkness and we declare the light of the world whose name is Jesus, Father God, and that we will not operate in fear according to Timothy, God, for you have not given us a spirit of fear and Lord I speak against all fear all manner of fear fear of failure fear of success fear of heaven fear of hell fear of people they, they call it a, a social anxiety father God we speak against these things right now in the mighty name of Jesus father we declare that we're here we declare that we are made whole we declare that every weapon that has formed has hit the sheep, has hit the helmet. We are grateful, God, that our feet are shot with the preparation of the gospel. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that your name is great and you are worthy to be praised. We don't have a theoretical understanding of who you are. We have a tangible understanding of who you are because we see you, breathe you, live you every day. And Father God, we use you to set people free in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, let our freedom be long lasting. Let our freedom not be fleeting, Father God. Lord, let us contend for our freedom, God. Let us fight for our freedom. We fought for so many things, Lord, that was fickle and had no value. Father God, cause us to fight to be free. Cause us to fight that your name would be heard. Cause us to fight that would be living, breathing epistles. Cause us to fight for miracle signs and wonders, Lord, as we stand on your word tonight. 
Father God, I proclaim that no weapon formed against these ministries shall prosper. Lord, I proclaim that everything the prophets have need of it shall be theirs. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus, equipment, finances, opportunities, it shall be theirs. Father God, I pray that even right now you're galvanizing the, the, the destiny, uh, the providers, Father God, the kingdom financiers, Father God, even right now, God, to do what you've called them to do regarding to ministries that are building the kingdom and are fighting against the kingdom of darkness. And Father God, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight that you are great. You're not a sometime God, a fly by night God, a part time God, but you are God and God all alone, all by your lonesome, with your godly self. And Father, we thank you that you are unmatched. Lord, when we challenge these demons regarding your deity, they dare not bring a railing accusation. They simply bow to King Jesus. God, be glorified tonight. Be glorified in the lives of the people. Be glorified in their miracle signs and wonders. Lord, we lift you up. We didn't seek any other God. We seek the big G, the God of all creation that's spoken into existence. We soak you tonight, God. And we stand on your word. And we thank you for the anointing on the voices and the hearts of the people that pray tonight. And we thank you, God, that you are working yourself into their lives in ways that they have not even considered. Prayers that they have not even prayed. I decree that you're going to answer. And we like nothing as we speak over our lives and everything that we need, we have. Lord, I just want to thank you for those that are taking up the mantle and operating in ministry. They're speaking in your regard and nothing else. And Father, we thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. We thank you, Father.